Hey guys, it's Jmov from Jmov Pickup, and today we are going to talk about how to land threesomes and foursomes. All right, so this is really difficult to do if you're going out just with your guy friends, or if you're going out alone and you're trying to meet like two random stranger girls and bring them home, right? Or three random strangers and bring them home through cold approach. The way that you're going to want to do this is you're going to want to have a bisexual either girlfriend or a bisexual rotation girl or harem girl whatever you want to call it, a regular, that is going to assist you with this process. And it's actually really, really easy. So I'm going to explain how this is done. I had um, along my pickup journey uh, multiple bisexual girlfriends, multiple bisexual uh, fuck buddies or regulars, whatever you want to call it. And the way that we would do this is we'd walk into a club. And of course, it really helps if you bring out you know, like a really hot, really exotic girl, right? Because other girls are going to be attracted to her. She's going to be eye candy for them. And lots of girls, believe it or not, are bi. Lots of the girls at the venue, even if they're with their boyfriend, I can't tell you how many times there's been girls holding the hand of their boyfriend and they're just staring at us and like making eyes at the girl I brought and all that stuff. Or even coming over and like trying to get my girl's number, that kind of stuff. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to pick out a girl together in the venue and then what you're gonna have your girl do this is gonna be either your girlfriend or your fuck but you're gonna have her go approach the girl talk to her start kind of flirting and notice I said you're gonna send in your girl not you okay you're there, she's gonna be flirting with the girl and then they're gonna start dancing right so this this works very well if you're at like a dance club or something like that they're gonna start dancing they're gonna be really close and what you're going to instruct your girl to do, like in advance, when you're telling her how to, how to make this all go down, you're going to have your girl start making out with the new girl on the dance floor. All right? So she approached a random stranger, either brings her to the dance floor or they're already near the dance floor. It works especially well if the, if the girl that she's approaching is already on the dance floor or near the dance floor. They start dancing really close. They start making out. At this point, after they've made out a little bit, you're going to come in and you're going to say, hey, me and my girl, right? So now you're like coming into the whole experience through your girl. You're like, me and my girl think you're really sexy, right? And then you're gonna have your girl introduce the new girl, okay, to you. And then what you're gonna do is start seating, taking that new girl home, okay? I call that seating the pull. A pull refers to taking a girl home so you're going to start seeding things. So you're going to say to the, the new girl that your girls are making out with, you're going to say, oh, do you like champagne? Yes. Oh, cool. I live nearby. And now you're handling logistics, right? I live nearby. You should come drink champagne with me and her, right? And what you're doing is you're channeling compliance through your girl because she already likes your girl. She's dancing with her. She's kissing her. She's having fun with her. And now you're saying you should come and hang out with us after this. I live close by, we can drink champagne, we can go in the hot tub, whatever. Um, so when I was doing this like all the time, the game plan was very simple. It was actually easier than trying to bring home a, a girl on my own or bring home a girl with my wingman. What I would do is bring out this girlfriend or bring out this fuck buddy. We'd pick out a girl together we both think is sexy. She goes in and talks on her own. They start dancing, they start flirting, they start making out. I come in, hey, we think you're really sexy. Um, this is my girl. She's like, oh, hey, this is John, blah, blah, blah. We all introduce each other. Um, like, damn, you guys are fucking hot together, ha, ha, ha. Do you like champagne? Do you like wine? Whatever. We're going to go um, nearby. I had a penthouse, and we would drink. I had a jacuzzi on a rooftop, right? And I had a bunch of champagne and a bunch of wine. So we'd go there, and it's super easy. Once you get – so, so okay, before I get to what you do when you get back home – um, when you propose this to the girl, she's almost always going to say yes because most of the time that a girl doesn't want to come home with you from the club, it's because she doesn't like she wants to make sure she's going to be safe. She wants to make sure it's not going to be awkward. She wants to make sure that you're actually a high value guy. But when you have this girl with you, this hot girl with you that you brought out with you, um, there's a principle called pre-selection, and basically this hot girl that you're with has already approved of you being a high value guy, right? Why is she with you? Because you're a high value guy. So that kind of short circuits 
the new girl having to figure that out for on her own. Also, the whole safety thing goes away because there's a girl there that's coming. Like she feels comfortable, right? And she's already built up a whole decent degree of compliance with the girl that you brought, and you're kind of leveraging that by being associated with that girl, right? So it's actually really easy to get them out of there. Um, sometimes they'll give you the token like, oh, I can't leave my friends. And you're gonna instruct the girl that you brought out on how to deal with this stuff. It's better for her. You're gonna help answer the objections, but it's better for your girl to assure her because she trusts your girl a lot more just by the fact that they're both um, female. So say she's like, oh, I can't leave my friends. Your girl's gonna be like, oh no, it's cool. Like we just live really close by. Like we'll come right back or we'll text your friend's number. Whatever the typical, I'm going to go over in a different video how to answer objections, but you basically have your girl answer the objections and you kind of support and fill in or whatever. And again, if she's like, no, 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 I can't leave, then you're going to baby step, which refers to as getting her like closer to the exit. So you're going to say, okay, well, why don't we all go like to the smoking area or why don't we all go like meet our other friend that's over in this other area and it's going to be closer to the exit, of course. And so the three of you will go, you're not leaving. You're just going over closer to the exit. Okay, now you're in the smoking area, the cabs are right there. Or in, in this case where I was doing this a lot, I lived like right across the street from this main club in a penthouse. Um, so we'd be like, we would be in the smoking area and I'd be like, there's my apartment right there. Like, let's just, do you, uh, can we at least show it to you? Like, let's just go really quick, we'll show it to you. And then when you get back to the place, what's gonna happen is, um, again, your girl's gonna be kissing the new girl, but she's also gonna be like making out with you and like grabbing your dick and that kind of shit, the girl that, that you were with originally, and she's gonna be encouraging the other girl to like join in, and it's gonna go down really easily, okay? Um, and then you're gonna have a, a threesome that's gonna be awesome. So you can do this like over and over and over. And one other thing to add into this um, whole game plan and technique is in order to have a foursome with three girls, cause like not many of you guys are gonna wanna um, have a group sex experience with another guy, um, so to, in order to bring three girls home, all you're going to do is approach what they call in game a two set, which is just two women together. And I did this a bunch as well. Um, it's going to be the same exact game plan that I just explained, but you're going to have your girl pick one of the two, start dancing, making out there, and then you as the man are going to go over to the girl that's not kissing, like the girl in the two group that's that's not kissing your girl, and you're going to be like, oh damn, like that's my girl right there, ha ha ha, look at the look at her with your friend. Um, and then you're gonna kind of like encourage this whole like competition where you're gonna be like, hey, like I'm curious which one of you two are a better kisser. And then you encourage like the girl that wasn't making out to kiss your girl. You're like, let's see who's a better kisser, right? And again, they, they don't have like much resistance to this because it's just girls together. Like they, they trust each other and stuff like that. So then like they'll start taking turns making out a lot of times. Or you can say to the, the girl that's not involved, like, oh, look at them having all the fun. Hey, you two, like you stop the two making out, you're like, get her involved too and then a lot of times like they'll start three-way kissing and it's crazy because like the whole venue will like notice what's going on like especially the people in like the nearby vicinity and like dudes will like i've had like so many situations where the dudes are all, like taking out their cell phones and like having these uh you know they're all they're all like forming a semi-circle around your girls and they're like videotaping and shit and then you just roll in and you're like yo um do you guys like champagne? Oh yeah, cool. Oh, well, we have like a jacuzzi nearby and you don't have to have that kind of shit. All you're trying to express is like, you live nearby, let's all go have a drink there. And you have your girl like get them on board and help answer the objections. So like, um, you're like, we should all go, like we'll come right back, blah, blah. And then you end up naked with like three chicks in a hot tub and it's fucking awesome. So that's pretty much it. Um, go out and try it yourself. It's, but trust me, it's way, 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 way tougher to just get two strangers to start like hooking up in the club um, and bring them home for you all to hook up. I mean, it's, it's, it's doable, but this way is much easier and, and much preferred. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.